Tennis fans all over the world were shocked by what we saw in the first set. Olga Danlovic from Serbia beat on Shabor 6-4. That's correct, ladies and gentlemen. She's up one set. However, Tunisian fans, tennis fans, everyone all around the world watching this match, Anj Jabor is on the move, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that face. That's a beautiful face. Now, listen, I respect Iga Fiantek. I think she's an amazing competitor, amazing fundamentals. Her footwork's amazing. Her ball placement's amazing. But when it comes to shot-making ability, Iga Fiantek does not compare to Anj Jabor. I'm sorry. Anj Jabor is the best shot-maker on planet Earth. That's a fact. But in the first set, Olga Danlovic was the best shot maker in this match. However, Anz is on the move. She gets the break, ladies and gentlemen. She's up 3-2, about to serve with the opportunity to go up 4-2. Big difference between the first set and the second set. Anz has a couple aces now. But listen, she struggled to get her first serves in play. Only 43% of them. So far in the second set, 62%. Amazing. She lost 59% of her second serves in the first set. We notice an improvement. She's now winning 55% of her second serves. Olga's winning less. That's right. She has four less winners. She's committing more unforced errors because Anz is putting the pressure on her. Anz has saved all four of her break points that Olga has seen. And yes, Olga's damage starts with the ball toss. But that's a Jordan fist pump in the air. Anz Jabor is on the move. She just needs to hold on. If she can hold serve, we will have a third set to determine who makes the round of 16. Remember, guys, this would be history. Anz Jabor has never made the round of 16 here at the French Open. Even though she's a junior champion, she's never done it on the main tour. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host.